I believe in God's foreknowledge of all things past, current, and future. However, I am baffled when in Genesis 22, verses 12 through 16, the angel conveyed a message to Abraham from God saying, Now I know. Verse 16 makes sure that it was Yahweh speaking. So in connection with this, if God is God of mercy, fairness, and justice, how could he have made me foreknowing that I will eventually go to hell even long before I was born? Does God prevent himself from knowing the result of our responses while we are under test? Hence, now I know, after the result of the test has become apparent. And again, that's from Alexander in the Philippines. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate the question. So the, the simple answer, does God, does God withhold knowledge from himself, is no. Such a thing would be impossible because God is, is infinite uh, and God is his own intellect mm -hmm. and God has an immediate intuitive knowledge of all things because all things proceed from him. I mean, the, the, nothing exists without him actively causing its existence at mm -hmm. every moment, mm -hmm. right? And that includes the existence of our free human choices. It would be impossible for God to withhold his being or his knowledge or his power even from our actions because then such actions would cease to exist, right? So it's not possible for God to be ignorant of anything. Now, when we encounter this kind of language in sacred scripture, these are anthropomorphisms. The Bible speaks to us in types and figures and analogies that are accommodated to our limited human understanding. And uh, uh, we can, uh, uh, you know, we, we relate to God as in a narrative and as a person, mm -hmm. uh, but there are things about God that are radically unlike our personhood. Oh, yeah. And yet Scripture uses this kind of anthropomorphic language because it's familiar to us and we can relate to it. I mean, the important thing to draw from these kinds of stories is that we are tested, that things happen to us, mm -hmm. and that they have a real impact on our relationship with God. Um, now, the, why would God make you knowing that you might potentially sin. So that's, that, is, that is the great mystery of evil. Why does an all-powerful and all-knowing God create a world in which he knows there will be evil? And the best we can do by way of answer is to say that God permits evil because he intends to bring out of it a greater good. Now, that, that may be philosophically sound. It may be existentially unsatisfying, particularly if you're one suffering evil, as a small comfort to think, well, you know, God's going to bring some good out of this, but in the meanwhile, here I am, the one that's doing all the hurting. Yeah. Uh, that's not much comfort, uh, or it seemed to not be. Uh, and I, all I can do is offer you some analogies again. And one would be that is, uh, in our human experience, we do this all the time. We, we make choices all the time knowing that there will be some undesired, unintended evil consequence mm -hmm. because we are seeking to achieve a good. The evil is not what we will, um, and yet we know that uh, that it's a sort of um, uh, you know it's a sort of concomitant with the good that we are willing. Parents do this all the time in raising their children. They, they you you can't you cannot be you know, the perfect helicopter parent that controls everything that your child does down to you know every last jot and tittle. And if you are, you end up destroying the character of the mm -hmm. child. Uh, and so sometimes you have to step back and permit what you know will be an evil choice because you as a parent are intending to bring out of it some greater good. Mm -hmm. Now if we have some sort of small experience of that in human life. I think it's not too much of a stretch to extrapolate that uh, to the divine wisdom and to the divine benevolence and the divine foreknowledge, understanding that even as the child doesn't understand what the parent is doing, that the parent's uh, intentions are benevolent. So we also can't necessarily understand what God is doing, but trusting in his benevolence, we can say with the Blessed Virgin, be it done to me according to thy word. Yes, indeed.